Well, Sam, congratulations. It was a roller coaster match, <laughs> but you held your nerve beautifully at the end and got it done against a very good player. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I feel like my level stayed pretty solid the whole way through. I think the third setup was probably the best that I played for the match, but um, yeah, she went through a, a stage late in that first set to get, and then from Four Love, kind of really up and down and was making a lot of errors and then you kind of sense all right this isn't going to go on forever so I was aware that you know she's capable of turning things around which is exactly what she did but um yeah to kind of hang in there and do what I did from a breakdown then in the third um to come out on top was really pleasing. You'd had a good record against her in the past how do you attack a player like Keys who is all that firepower she plays close to the lines yep. when it's good it's good and we've seen her ranked inside the top 10 we've seen her go outside the top 20 how do you attack that sort of game plan against a player like that? I think you've got to realise that there's going to be some really good tennis coming at you and sometimes you're not going to have a say in what's going on and then other times when you've got the opportunity to really do something, you've really got to take those because they might be few and far in between for you know different stages of the match. But um, obviously if she's got a, a big first serve, she really hits her spots really well with that and um, and so that was like, all right. And then I just try to kind of read it a little bit and I think I started really... At, being able to do that well in that third set and that's probably um, you know one of the reasons why I was able to break twice um, late in the match I kind of was getting a, a pretty good feel for maybe what she was going to do um, and I think my serve really improved in the third set as well my first serve percentage got a bit better and um, I was able to kind of stay a bit more neutral and, and on top of the points more so than you know giving her too many second serves yeah. to really get a swing at yeah and just to be able to save the amount of break points that you did where you were had a bit of adversity with your serve just to be able mm -hmm. to hold your nerve and, and work through and just play the next point yeah there was oh probably multiple games where I was down maybe 15 40 love 40 a couple of times um, and was able to get through those so I think it was almost especially the first and second set that was probably when my serve was the best was when I was down trying to save those break points which is another really pleasing sign for things to come at the same time, Ash won, we were trying to keep an eye on yep. two matches, <coughs> one meeting, and that was here uh, two years ago where you beat her. So mm. any time we get an all-Aussie matchup, we get excited about that. <laughs> Give us your thoughts. Yeah, I'm excited to play Ash. Um, like you said, the only other time we played was in Miami a couple of years ago, um, and a lot's changed since then. Ash has really gone on a tear the last year and a half or so and playing exceptional tennis. So, um, yeah, I guess it's... A little bit tides have turned a little bit she's now the the top ranked player and I've really got nothing to lose but I think we both obviously have lots of respect for each other's uh, game we know how each other play pretty well we've obviously practiced together a ton so um, I don't think there's going to be too many secrets out there but yeah I'm really looking forward to the challenge I know Ash is having you know a great year and like I said she's a great player so I've got to go out there and give it my absolute best and some dubs tomorrow just to uh, mm -hmm. obviously which is still important for you and uh, keeps everything in the game nice and fine-tuned for that match the following day? Yeah, absolutely. We're fourth on, so um, not really asleep in actually. I've got to warm up at 12.30, but that's all right. And uh, I think Ash will probably play doubles too, maybe. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out on the doubles court again with Shui, and uh, hopefully we can have a win and, yeah, be feeling good going into the next singles match.